Hello everybody, Grace Noblies, and we're back with more Farmer's Dynasty. The game where money is pretty much everything, including... It, it basically does everything. It allows you to get more items, get more land, and it even allows you to get women in this game. It's... Is this real life? <laughs> but for real though, we have some brand new machines over here. Oh, I'm like starving or something too. I've got all these eggs on me. I haven't checked my eggs in probably like two seasons we got the brand new harvester over here and it is freaking amazing we're gonna be using that today well not today in the game but today in this recording i have two freshly plowed fields over here prepared to make us money well plowed and cultivated we need to seed them so supposedly now a change has been uh updated into the game where you can use fertilizer or manure on one side and you don't have to use them both together. Before, you had to use them both together to see any kind of extra yield. So we're going to test that. I don't know if that's true or not. So what we're going to do is I think we're going to take we're going to take this small field and we're going to plant a canola in here and use fertilizer on it. And then this one, we're going to plant canola, but we're not going to use fertilize it, or fertilizer on it. So remember, this field, 15% larger than this field, but how will the numbers stack up? First things first, I got to grab the fertilizer from the other guy's house. Oh boy, I had to leave this thing at the other side of the friggin' universe. To be fair, it's about time I go pick it up. I have left it over there since the beginning of the game. Oh, 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 this is someone's field. <laughs> What do they have planted over here? Wow! Three acres of canola! Wow. Uh, we probably don't have the money to buy that. Hmm. I wonder. Like, if we, if we plant our canola and we allow it to grow and we sell it, will that be gone by the time our canola is done, I wonder? You never know. It seems like, for the most part, the fields in the map are sometimes staggered? I don't know 100%. Like, sometimes it seems like they're in various stages of growth, but that's also because the different plants grow at different speeds, so it makes sense. Oh, I'm so glad we have this new tractor. It, it would, st I mean, it still takes forever, basically, but it takes much less of forever because we have the better tractor. The, the extra speed the extra 50% speed is well worth it. Are these all fields out here? Oh, wow. I think these are all fields. What's in this field? Hold on, hold on. Maze. All right. Where in the world? Oh, mother of God. Don't tell me it's in the middle of the field. No, it wouldn't be. All right, hold on. Let me try and... Uh, let me try and get past this without knocking this guy's stuff all over. What's on this side? Oh, it's maze on both sides, huh? Okay. Ah! Hit all the freaking crops. Oh, I already have zero social standing anyway, so it doesn't matter. I told you. I'm not going to be able to... Uh, we're not going to be able to get a wife with our with our social standing. We're going to have to do it with cold hard cash. <laughs> Man, more canola in my damn... But there's canola everywhere. Like, everyone's caught on. They're all like, Man, Gray's been planting a lot of canola. It must mean something. Is it the magical crop? Yes. Yes, it is. Now, but today, I want to find out if at least fertilizer has majesty and powers as well. Because, well, it depends. Because if using them both together gives you, like, 25 extra... Oh, God, hold on. I'm trying... Like, it doesn't matter again because I can't lose any more. But I still want to try and not hit everything. If it gets us, like, 12 and a half, I wonder if it's worth it. I would say it is. I would probably do it. Certain things I won't do, like the hay baling. That's just... I just can't be bothered with that crap anymore. I'm not gonna lie, it's so small, I thought it was a freaking trash can. I didn't even know that was our fertilizer. I passed right by it, and I was like... I was like, what is, what is that? Is that just like a little mobile recycling bin or something? Nope, it's the fertilizer. It's the fertilizer spreader. Oh, we need to get gas, too. We're down to uh, less than half a tank at this point. Hey, Becky, how's it going? You hate me. Tony hates me. Everyone hates me because I've been plowing over their crops with this thing ever since I bought it. Oh. Oh. We're fine. <laughs> what was that? 
It was like a freaking ghost train. All right, now that I know this, we're going to have to take that train on one-on-one. -on -one. I'm going to slam into it next time I see it. We're going head-to-head -head, because I need to know what would happen. It's a brand new day. The sun is shining. The wind softly swaying the trees back and forth. And today it is time. It is time to seed and fertilize. Now, I think that we can get this filled up right away over here with some incredibly expert backing skills from old Gray. Watch this right over here. You ready for this? Oh, yeah. Every time. Every, look at that. It's incredible. It's... It's... <laughs> I'm getting caught on the other friggin' vehicle over there. Oh! I can do it from here. Like, just barely. All right. Now, do I have any fertilizer? I do have fertilizer. Fantastic. How much fertilizer does this hold? 220 kilograms, but it can hold a little bit more. All right. I may buy more over at the store. Do I still have the pickup truck over there? I think I may still have the pickup truck over there. Let us leave that there. Let us go over and grab the cedar so that we can begin doing hyper fast ultra seeding. Hopefully we don't have a maze or anything left in here. Do I have anything left inside the cedar? Oh, there's canola left. Fantastic. Fantastic. All right, let's go ahead and seed it up real quick. Just driving over to the ag store real quick. Don't worry, we're not using the roads. We don't need roads. Where Romeo's going. Yeah, baby. Off-roading all day in this thing. What is this supposed to be anyway? Kind of looks like a like a ranger. Like an old ranger or something like that. Oh, I wonder if I can get across right here. Oh, don't get stuck. Do not get stuck. That is like $200 that I don't care to spend right now. Fantastic. We're still just fine. I am running all throughout some dude's property over here. Man, what's going on over here? This thing is, this thing's having trouble kind of like moving through the, the plowed areas and whatnot. There we go. Now we're, now we're moving right along. I'm going to keep this thing next to the ag store. I had it here before, but I, I can't remember what I did with it. Every once in a while, I'm telling you, there's like a random NPC that runs around. Like, I don't know if they're trying to get your attention or something, or if it's like a like a quest thing or whatnot. I have no idea. Running over freaking sunflowers for days, and then a lot of weeds. Um, now, we do have to be careful. Because it's very easy to get this thing stuck. All right, so we're good. We're good. You don't want to end up in a culvert. Because if you do so, you will be sad and depressed. Because you will not be able to get your vehicle out of it. See, like, right there... This is what you don't want. Okay, good. We managed to make it out. You, you can go in a little bit, but it can't be too deep. All right. Right over here. Hop on out. I don't know why I'm holding that. Okay. So, uh, uh, why is it got to open up outward? All right. Let us go ahead and grab. We want uh, fertilizer. A whole slew of it. Because no reason not to. Give me it all. Uh, and then while we're at it, we also need a bunch of canola seed because I'm fresh out right now. So, let's go ahead and purchase all the canola. Thousand kilograms of canola. Alright, we're set. Back over to the map. Teleportate back over to our place. Like this right here. Enter the magazine. Throw in the canola. Back out there. While I'm doing this, some folks were asking me. They were like, Gray, how did you get the money to get the new stuff? Hay bales. Well, in the beginning, hay bales. Hay bales generate such a ridiculous amount of money it's not even funny like you have like if you're looking for the most amount of money per crop you gotta do barley it really is the best like it's there's nothing that's even remotely close it's kind of annoying actually canola is good but canola gets better when you have the ability to uh, like fertilize it and do all that kind of stuff because the canola gives you a lot like it's very weighty So as you apply 25% more canola to something that already weighs a whole lot You get even more canola now some people were some people were noticing that between the new harvester and the old harvester They actually wanted to use the old harvester when they harvest their barley because they get more hay, and the hay is worth more than the barley. Yes, I know, hay, straw, whatever. Like I said, the game still just calls it hay. But the hay is worth more than the actual barley. So they want more hay bales than less hay bales. But for canola, it's a lot different. Obviously, there's no hay. You're just getting straight canola. So you want the most heaviest amount of canola per your time spent that you can possibly get. Sadly, every other crop 
pales in comparison to barley and canola. All righty, we are pretty much good to go. And drop this off over here right about there is good. Okay. Now it's just a matter of fertilizing one of the fields. Go ahead and grab the fertilizer. We might as well... Oh, crap. I just got stuck on a rock. Oh, no. Do not get stuck on a sad rock. Come on, baby. Really, you can't... We can't go back over this thing. We have to go forward over it. What kind of sadness is that? Look at this tractor. You gonna tell me this tractor's gonna get stuck on that little rock? Well, I guess it's a pretty big rock. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, but... All right, go ahead and hook this up. Bring it on back over here. Let's make sure that it is full of fertilizer. We did get some fertilizer into it, but it wasn't full. It was just a lot of fertilizer. Come on, get 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 in there. Get in there. Just shove yourself in there. Go in nice and slow. Come on, babe. Get inside the garage. Okay, so uh, what is this thing getting caught on right now? Because it went in fine before, and now it does not want to go in at all. Like, either the hitbox on this thing is ginormous. Come on, get in there. If I have to force it in, there we go. That sounded terrible. All right, fill the fertilizer. Now we got it full up. All right, so it doesn't really hold that much fertilizer, but hold a little bit. All right. Over here by the 70.79, this is the one that we're going to fertilize. Now, how much, how far does the fertilizer spray, I do wonder? And can you tell that, ooh, it sprays pretty far, actually. Can you go full speed while you're fertilizing? Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Good. Good. Now, does it continue to fly out when you're not on the grass? It does. Oh, yeah. Oh, we fertilizing up in here today, boys. We fertilizing up in here today. We are at 15%. Uh, stop fertilization. I'm be hitting the Z key all the time. Oh, there's I have so many items just laying around here. It's going to be a giant pain in my ass. I think we're going to do like U-turns instead. The cool thing about the fertilizer is you can turn it on and off like super fast. Like right when you get to the end of the of the patch over here, boop, you can turn it right off, spin yourself around, throw it back on. Make sure to throw on the cruise control cuz you go a lot faster with the cruise control. Now, I I assume you're, I am. I imagine you wouldn't fertilize the the yard at like 36 kilometers per hour because if this is a centrifugal one or whatever it is, wouldn't it be throwing the fertilizer all over the place at this speed? This is weird. I didn't think we had that many that many missed spots. It doesn't look like there's that many, but it's showing 95 percent, which is weird because like I miss a lot more and all the other stuff, and it's definitely not 95 percent. All right. Everything's all prepared. We're freaking set. Now it's time to go to sleep repeatedly. Oh, you know what else I have to do? I have to prepare our little area over here. Again, the pumpkins, not the way to go. Cucumbers are the best, but we might as well use up the rest of our seedlings over here. Then we're going to go to sleep for a bunch of weeks, and hopefully when we get done, our canola is ready to be picked. All right, four weeks have gone by. Just came out to check on the stuff. Grab some cucumbers. Grab these pumpkins up over here. You boys know how it is. Grab all these pumpkins. We'll go ahead and sell them. Again, pumpkins, from my findings, not good enough. Not good enough compared to how the sheer amount of uh, of cucumbers that you can get. Now, th this is odd. It seems like we're getting more pumpkins. Now, we're still getting about less than half for sure. Pumpkins, a thousand euros worth. That's actually not that bad. Hmm. That's curious. Maybe pumpkins got better, cause that wasn't even a uh, that wasn't even a full thing of pumpkins. Like we didn't we didn't have enough seeds to do all the pumpkins. Interesting. I'm gonna grab some more cucumbers and plant those for the next couple of weeks and see how they do. Yep. I kept calling it cucumbers. It's zucchini. <laughs> I don't know why. They're both green and slightly phallic looking. Grab all these zucchini chunks over here. Put them on down real fast. And then we'll see how they go. So we got over $1,000 uh, or 1,000 euros on our sell of the pumpkins. Now, it does take pumpkins four weeks to mature compared to zucchinis three. So if that's your if that's your poison, if that matters to you, I guess that is a thing. Let's go back to sleep and see what kind of, what kind of amounts of zucchinis we get when we wake back up. 
Coming out to the greenhouse. Want to pick me up some freaking money. Right out of the bins over here. There we go. All the zucchini belongs to us. It's all our delicious zucchini. Come to me, zucchini. Again, you can actually double up if you want to. While you're grabbing it, you could be putting more zucchini down if you don't mind pressing a whole slew of buttons at the exact same time. All right, how much zucchini do we get? 602 zucchinis, huh? 602 zucchini. Hold on, let me go ahead and plant the rest of these down over here like this. There we go. Over here like so. Man, it would be close. Real close. Oh, it's a chainsaw, by the way. It would be real close. Uh, real close. The, the zucchinis are slightly less expensive by one euro per seed. So, I mean, not that that's a big deal. Like, it takes you, what, like 60 in order to plant the entirety of the, uh, of the, uh, the greenhouse. So, maybe it's a little bit closer than I had thought. It's just a matter of only taking three weeks for the zucchinis. How's our canola looking over here? Look, I'm seeing some golden fields, man. I'm seeing some golden fields. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking. What the hell? Was that a bird? Oh, it's a freaking bird. Okay. Zucchini be paying the bills. You boys. All right, let's go ahead and grab all these real quick. I'll go on this side. Go and grab all these real quick. And I think, or I hope, that our main crops of canola should be ready to go when we leave the greenhouse over here. There it is, boys. Ready for harvest. Let's take a friggin' look over here. So first things first, I like checked it, so I got like a 0.01% knockoff. It's still, it's still gonna be close enough. All right, so this one, the fertilized side. What does it all mean? How much of a difference will it make? Hold on, let me go ahead over here real quick. I just wanna grab our uh, grain trailer and kind of bring it over to where we'll be. All right, boys. This is what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at it all. We're not even going to have to stop, probably. We're not even going to have to stop. Wow. Holy crap. Not even one pass. And we're already at 1,200 kilograms. Now, to be fair, again, look at the width on this harvester. It's insane. So, that is part of the issue here. It's not that we're getting, like, such a such an amazing amount of canola that it just blows the socks off of anything that we've ever done in life. It's more the fact that this thing has taken down twice as much, well, almost, twice as much canola per pass. Now, how far over can I get it? Can I get it right about here? Oh, yeah. Maximum width. Maximum width. Right there. 2100 already. Oh, this thing's a money machine. This thing's gonna be making us money all day long. And it's only 20%. I love how much bigger the capacity is on this thing. Oh, man, this is fantastic. You don't get any extra speed. But the sheer amount of crop that you can decimate with this thing is fantastic. All right, so you gotta, you gotta keep it inside of the outermost piece there. Otherwise, you kind of miss some. I actually ended up missing a couple pieces of canola over there. It's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and get them. We are already at 5,000 kilograms of canola. And we are not at all halfway harvested yet. That is good. That is way better than we had before. Way better than we had before. Wow. 7,000 kilograms before we're at 50%. So, are we going to get 1,400 kilograms from one single uh, one single plot over here? And the smallest one we have... i got to eat something real quick. I got all these different zucchinis. But I'm just going to go ahead and eat a bunch of eggs real fast. I'm on a strict protein diet, people. High protein, all right? This guy has been... Uh, Romeo has been doing a lot of bodybuilding lately, okay? He's a very manual, laborious man, okay? This is uh, the outdoorsy type, okay? In, in, in his plenty of fish profile or whatever it is. Loves working in the fields. Loves making lots of money. Loves chowing down on delicious canola. Yep. 
This is absolutely insane. We're coming up on 10,000 kilograms. We're not even at 85% yet. That's pretty significant. We can't even drop this into the trailer because we would overfill the trailer. That's how much canola we've gotten so far. Because remember, the trailer only takes 11,000 kilograms. Meanwhile, our harvester takes 12,000 kilograms. So the idea of putting the trailer there and filling it up with grain is actually no... Well, I was going to say it's not exactly useful. If you're at a different field because the, uh, the tractor is faster than this thing by quite a bit, then yeah, it's better to move the grain around with the tractor if you want to keep a whole bunch of it in there. I don't know what happens if you have the grain outside in the rain when it's inside the trailer. Like, does it rot? I don't know. I don't know how realistic this game is for that. It mentioned that you don't want to cultivate... What, oh, what are we at? Oh. Oh, no. We're, we're still good. We're at 95%. We'll be all right. Well, we're, we're going to fill up in just a second here, but I'm going to get... Pretty close to filled up, and then we're going to drop it over into the silo right quick. So 99, let's go ahead and stop, pull on over here to the side. Over 12,000 kilograms right now, folks. Spill out the grain. Spill out all the grain into the silo. Yes. How am I moving too fast? I'm not actually moving. What kind of bull crap is that? Can't lie to me. I know better than that. All right. And the, there's the final chunk. Let's go ahead and add this over to what we have. What do we got, like 13,000 something? Hold on, let's find out in a second. It is it is definitely way better than what we have. We had like we had like 9,000 last time over here, roundabout. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, look at the size of this freaking grain drop, too. I almost feel like I'm going to miss it. Holy crap, maybe I should move over a little bit more. All right, there we go. Grain's dropping in, and we have 14,000 kilograms of canola. On the 0.79 acre field. What happens? What is the comparison to the 8.9? Let's find out. Let's tear this thing down. Now, this had no fertilization. So, let's find out exactly how different it is. All right. So, so far, at right around 20%, we've got about 2,600. So, I mean, technically, if you times that times 5... You would figure you would get the final amount, but let that would put it at less than crap. That would put it at less than we were at, but let's check it out. So this is interesting. As we pass 50%, we're up at 6,000. I feel like, um, does that put us higher than it was at 20%, I wonder? Now let's just keep moving. All right, we're almost full up. We've got 11,576 over here. Let's kind of pull up over here. Move the grain dropper over where I think it should be. Yeah, let's go ahead and head this way. I don't know what the hitbox is for dropping grain in. I think I'd rather just be safe than sorry. So let's kind of go right about here. All right, so we're starting at 14. We'll, we, you know what? We'll round down. We're starting at 14,000. Let's go ahead and drop it in over here and see what happens in the end. All right, so 14,000. We got about 1,100. Uh, what do we got over here? 11,630. So let's continue pulling every all the rest of it out. No, there's not much left. Uh, we're 90% over here. All right. Last little pieces over here. Last little bits. All right, we're full up. Let's go ahead over. I wonder if I can get it from here. Yeah, I probably can. Right here. Here we go. Hold on, let me uh, move over slightly. Right about there. There we go. All right. So remember, we were at 14,000. Wow. So this got an extra 12,600 about. 12,600 for a field that was 15 around 15% 15 larger. So the fertilizer definitely makes a difference. Obviously, there's like a percent here and there from like me not plowing perfectly or things like that. But that is a big difference. That is a significant difference. Anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Farmer's Dynasty where we put the two fields together. I told you I would take on the train. Die! Ooh, ooh. Okay, that was interesting. The train phased through us. I don't think I expected that. I expected to like at least maybe be pushed or something like that. Anyway, where we took two fields. 
side by side. In order to find out... Crap, I just got stuck. In order to find out whether or not fertilizer actually makes a slight bit of difference. Turns out it makes a lot of difference, actually. If we combine the manure and the fertilizer, will we get double the results? I don't know. Maybe we'll give it a shot. Anyway, folks, until the next time, stay foxy and much love.